electron beam evaporation. How does electron beam evaporation work? So a tungsten filament sends off electron beams under a high vacuum that bombards the target anode, which, which causes the electrons to accelerate. Then the electrons strike the target and melt the material into a gaseous phase. After that, the material will turn into a solid form and coat everything in the vacuum chamber. So what does it do to the surface? So it increases the surface temperature and leads it to evaporate and deposit onto the substrate. So this is what electron beam evaporation surfaces looks like and the data sheets of it. Why do we want the surface, the surface this way? So the surface needs to be this way to achieve good stability and smoothness for the used materials. <clears throat> and to also create strong and tough materials to adhere rough circumstances. And the surface will also allow high evaporation temperature for to high evaporation temperature materials. So how is electron beam evaporation used in medicine and BME? So electron beam evaporation basically creates a thin film of drugs and other active agents, which are deposited onto the surface of the medical devices, such as stents. And they're also, also used for coatings for medical implants because of their durability and resistance. So the first picture are stents that were developed and created by materials used in electron beam evaporation. The second picture are orthopedic implants, which were also developed by materials used in electron beam evaporation. 